All right. Start by making yourself a line. Name some point K on that line. Now what we're going to do is create marks that are equidistant from K. Because this is the smaller side of my segment, this is where it's more important that I pay attention to my compass setting, I simply need to make sure that I don't go beyond the length of the line that I drew. So that's a good setting, and I'll turn it around and do a similar mark here. Equidistant marks. Now, according to our directions, we're going to call those P and Q, and this segment, and this segment, as I said, are equidistant. So put in those congruency marks. Notice now, I'm on one of my equidistant points, in this case P. I'm going to open my compass so that it is greater than the distance from P to K. What I'm going to do is just draw a nice smooth arc up. Now I'm going to pick that up, come over to Q, draw a similar nice smooth arc. And if you notice, it kind of looks like a rounded triangle. We can now call that point of intersection at the top R. And because of the way we did this, we can take our straight edge, go from K through R, and we have just created a perpendicular. Make sure that you show that by drawing in your right angle mark. Line KR is now perpendicular to the line PQ. Alright, let's try that one more time. Let's not worry about labels. You'll put the labels in as your teacher asks you. So begin with a line or line segment. Put a point somewhere on there. Put your compass setting on there. Remember, worry about the short side of your drawing and create two congruency marks. Create two construction marks which will be of a congruent distance. So this segment is congruent to this segment. I'm now going to come out to one of those equidistant points. Make sure I go out further than that midpoint. Come over here to this other construction mark I'd made. Make a similar arc. And now through the point I had chosen and here I can create a perpendicular line to the original line.